Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marivo and I'm a designer with Craft Shield Print. You can see any of my designs by going to the website www.craftshieldprint.com slash Marivo. Today I'd like to show you how to use one of my sheets. This is the card that we'll be using and as you can see it's a pink poppy design. I've used two sheets for it to give it a real 3D image and a raised up feel, give it texture and just something different about it. So I shall show you the sheets once you've downloaded them. The first sheet you will need is cup number 299893 underscore 10 and that's the full poppy sheet with the design on. I've done lots of different um, sentiments on them but the one I've picked is the best wishes sheet. The second sheet that you will need is the frame sheet. This is cup number 299896 underscore 10 and this again is the matching pink poppy sheet. So the tools that you're going to need to be able to make this card is an 8x8 eight eight square folded blank card, 3D foam or silicone glue if you prefer, flat glue, tape runner or flat tape, scissors, Crafty Bob's bone folder, invaluable, glossy accents and gold foil and a two way gold glue pen to be able to attach your foil doesn't have to be gold, you could use a colour of your choice, but I've chosen gold because it turns in with the vintage look. Now after downloading your sheets, you cut the main images from both sheets and then one row of the poppies. You will find that you don't need the other sheet. However, I've actually taken the three poppies from one sheet and the butterfly from another sheet. So I'll put those to one side, I've cut out my main image and I've cut out all my components, I'll put them so you can see them, lay them out and the extra butterfly and the frame. So from the two sheets I've taken the main base image and the frame. As you'll see on the actual frame itself, because of the scalloped edges, if you feel that you're not very good at cutting out or you can't get a neat edge, you can disguise it by using the gold foil. I tend to use a two-way glue stick and I run the stick around the edge of the design. You wait for it to turn from blue to clear and then when it's turned it only takes a few minutes for it to turn and then you simply go around the edge following the glue with the foil like so pressing it down so that the foil adheres to the glue like so and then it'll just pick up hints and it'll take the eye away from the edges so I'll put that to one side. Now again, because it's a scallop design, if you think that it's a little bit too much for you all the cutting out, the base sheet, you could literally just cut it into the square and attach it to the card yourself rather than following the scallops around the edges. Now to save a little bit of time, I've already added tape to the back of my design and I'm going to attach that to the front of the card. Oops. If you didn't want to use tape, you could use a quickie glue pen or you could use a tape runner. I prefer the tape because it's nice and fast and it gives a very good strong um, hold to the image. So we'll just, that's it. And I shall place that on the front of the card like so. Now as I turn that round you'll see I've actually already highlighted the stamp on the postcard 
I've used glossy accents for this. I'm going to show you how to use this in a moment. But I've just covered the stamp with the glossy accents and I've left it to dry for 30 to 40 minutes before um, using it. It dries as a clear, solid finish on your cards. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the frame to the actual card. I'll just move these out of the way. So I'll turn it round so you can see. I've used foam pads for the back of my frame because I think it adds extra height so that you can get the shadow in between the layers and it shows a little bit of depth. Sometimes I do like to use silicone glue but on this occasion we're using the foam pad. So there's just quite a few of these because I want it to be a solid hold and then obviously we're going to build up the decoupage on top of it so it needs to be solid underneath. So I'm going to marry the two layers up like so, corner to corner edge to edge, oops, we'll just try that one again, there we go, lay it down, like so, now you'll notice there's no gloss on the poppies on this sheet, because all the gloss is going to be on the top poppies, like so. So what I've done is I've cut the poppies out like this. And then I've taken my glossy accent and I've highlighted the centre of the poppy. Like so. And you literally let it flow onto the page. And that's it. You just leave it to dry 30 40 minutes. If you find you've got an air bubble in, just use the tip of the glossy accents to touch it, and it should pop and then it'll self level and dry. And when it dries, it dries to a clear finish and it emphasizes the colour of the design underneath it, as you can see. So it goes from a, um, a smoky looking colour to the clear. You'll be able to tell when it's dry because it's turned clear. So I'll put that to one side. Now I'm going to add my poppies to the front of the card. So I'll take off the back of the foam pads. Again, if you wanted to use silicone glue you could do and you could slightly curl the edges to get an even more raised effect. So I'll just add these. like so and you'll notice that this last butterfly on that poppy hasn't got any glaze or anything on it at the moment we're going to give it a 3d raised effect to make it look as though that the butterfly is actually flying away from the poppy and that's where we'll use the extra poppy for uh, sorry the extra butterfly so we'll place that on there like so so the designs match up and with the last butterfly we'll use our crafty bob bone folder and we'll run the, but the bone folder down the edge of the butterfly body at one side and then down the edge at the other side and then we're going to slightly fold the wings like so to make it look as though it's flying already like that with my glossy accents I'm going to put a little bit on the butterfly on the card just across where the body is and then I'm going to place the butterfly on top like so so it looks as though it's flying away from the page and then I'm going to add a little bit more glossy accents just on the top of the butterfly to define the body 
and that will want half an hour or so to dry and it'll have a little glossy body on the butterfly. Now the last thing for me to add is the bow. Now I've already folded a bow and we're going to attach that. I'm going to use 3D foam to attach that onto the card. So I'll take a piece of foam and on the back of the bow put the foam, squeeze it on tightly, peel the back off. I'm going to add it in the top corner like so and press down firmly and there we have a finished card. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and you'll join me again on Cup TV. Thank you very much. Bye.